The Epistle to the Hebrews, Part 30, The Basis for Spiritual S Security. 3. God Keeps His Promises. A. The Example of God's Promise to Abraham. 1. God made a promise to Abraham, Hebrews 6, 13 through 15. A. In which he swore by himself because he could not swear by anyone higher. B. A promise which Abraham attained after patient endurance. See verse 15 with verse 12. 2. God confirmed his promise with an oath. Hebrews 6, 16 through 18a. A. For men, an oath confirms what they say, ending all dispute. B. To assure us of the unchangeableness of his promise, God also swore an oath. C. This provided a double assurance that he would keep his promise. 1. Because it is impossible for God to lie anyway, Titus 1, 2. 2. Because of the oath by which he confirmed it. B. God's faithfulness is our assurance. 1. It gives us strong consolation. Hebrews 6, 18b through 19b. A. We who are seeking refuge. B. We who need an anchor to the soul, both sure and steadfast. 2. This is especially true regarding our hope, which is Jesus. Hebrews 6, 19b through 20. A. I understand Jesus to be the hope in this passage. 1. For he is our hope, to whom we can flee as a refuge. 1 Timothy 1.1 1, 1. 2. As such, he is our anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast. B. As a forerunner, he has entered the presence behind the veil, heaven. C. He has become high priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. 1. Even as God swore he would do, Psalms 110.4. 2. God not only promised, but he swore an oath, just like he did for Abraham. So he has kept his promise, providing us a superior high priest. 3. Upon such an example of God's faithfulness, we can have an assurance of our salvation as long as we continue to lay hold of the hope Jesus set before us. Conclusion With a finely crafted argument, the author has returned his readers back to the original subject, which is Jesus as High Priest forever according to the order of Mel Melchizedek. A. Our spiritual security is first based upon the character of God, one who is not unjust to forget the work and labor of love, two who keeps his promises. B. God has promised and swore with an oath concerning the priesthood of the Messiah. C. This priesthood Jesus now has in heaven, and as such is the basis of our hope, for which reason we should seek to learn what we can about the priesthood of Jesus. 2. Yet as wonderful are the character and promises of God, we are not to take them for granted. A. We must be careful not to become sluggish. B. We must be careful to be diligent, imitating the faith and patience of those like Abraham who obtained God's promise for them. Together with God's character and promises, this is the basis for spiritual security. Have you fled to Jesus for refuge? Is he your hope, your anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast? Is he your high priest? If so, then let these words sink deep into your heart. And we desire that each one of you show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end, that you do not become sluggish, but imitate those who through faith and patience inherit the promises. Hebrews 6, 11 and 12. If you have not yet fled to Jesus for refuge, then please consider his tender invitation. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light.
Matthew 11:28 through 30. Here ends part 30 of the Epistle to the Hebrews, the basis for spiritual security.